Hello, hello, and good night to everyone. Welcome to Product Innovation Technology. Welcome to you, Homegrown Solutions family. And tonight, we are going to look at how to create products that are so innovative that they help a lot of people, that they're specific to people's needs, and that they earn high income, high return on investment, all right? Products that sell themselves, products that make working and using them easier, all right? Tonight, we're going to learn how to create the right products. But this, all of this will come from niche research, all right? Once you did your niche research, creating innovative solutions become much easier. And not only that, the products actually like create themselves, all right? So we're going to first open for questions. If you have any questions, you can let me know. I'll unmute you or you can ask it in the chat. All right. So I'll just pause for a little while and wait for the others also who are coming in. All right. So thank you very much for coming in, all of you. Thank you. All right. So since we have no questions, let's go right into it. I'm going to share the screen with you to start the this presentation on product innovation technology, showing you how to create the right product and get that sells itself and products that earns high income, valuable solutions that earn much, much higher income than you could think of, all right? You could even scale what you have presently or create ones that you can scale over time. All right, guys? So have fun, wonderful. Been sharing now, okay, good. So what we are going to do, we are going to go straight into the product, innovative product, um, in product innovation technology. So the product innovation technology is about creating your product, but not just creating, but innovating your product. So it has to do with creating specific solutions for your customers. Specific, that will make it innovative. You're not just going straight for just a product. You are creating specific product. You're providing product. could be physical. It could be digital. But the main thing is that it's a solution to your customer's need. It's not something that just you just love to sell. You're also creating products that sell themselves. So you don't need to do the selling. So you might have your ideas. You might have your products in mind. But how do you convert it into a way where it sells itself? Where the customer wants it, even though you love it. Of course, you know, we'll cover the process of creating value or adding value and increasing your return on investment. So when you create more value, you spend less resources, less time, less energy. But what happens, you spend less money also, but you are able to charge high price. You're able to get more payment for your product or service because of how you designed it. Also in that process, we're creating downstream products or Stream or stream All right, so somebody I think is um we need to unmute. Okay. All right, side stream products, upstream products, you'll get to create what they call mul different multiple streams of income from these different products, even though you're focused in one area. You get to learn the four mastery leading styles for digital products. That's when you deal with digital products. There are four main styles you need to incorporate in your product, which is the why, what, why, what, how, and what if, right? Why, what, how, and the what if learning styles. Of course, you get to learn the different technology in digital product innovation. You get to learn different technology in physical product innovation, how you produce physical products and create that is physical products that earn high income, all right? Okay, now, of course, for example, you have your knowledge, your experience, your expertise. How do you turn them into multiple streams of income? Of course, those could include, you have all of these ideas in your head, but you could create coaching programs, you could create podcasts, e-courses, you could create physical products, workshops, Online courses, ebooks, bars, things to eat, things to drink, out of something simple or one area that you have inside of you. 
So what we are learning is how to create multiple streams from one idea or from one particular system, right? In product design, we have to be very careful because customers don't really want products. They really want results. And the results is what really gives them value. Their value results more than your product. So if they're taking something and it's giving them the value, the result, then it, to them, it's not worth it. Now, how do we create value? Value really means benefit. And the benefit is what gives you the dollars. The better the benefits, the more you could charge for something. So if you have something that's of low value, you get low amount of money for it. If you have something that's of high value, you get a lot of money for it, all right? So you can have, both of us can have the same product, but if mine is saying that they can get you relieved, the person relieved of a lot of, from a lot of challenges or pain, and it's promising a lot of benefit, I can charge a higher price for the same product that I have, okay? So value equals benefit, which is really, the benefit is really what's in it for me. That's what the customer is asking subconsciously in their mind. What can I get out of this? What do I get out of this? And based upon the answer to those questions, your value, the value of your product goes up, right? So the aim is to try to create value in the form of specific, measurable, and tangible solutions. So it's not enough to create something that lose weight. You must be able to say you will lose five pounds of specific weight or fat or whatever it is in a specific area of your body. Or you must be able to say, you, it's not enough to say you'll be able to run faster. You must be able to say you will be able to run twice as fast in three months. You must be able to measure it. You must be able to have specific tangible results in the value. This is for people who want to create products that sell themselves and people who want to use technology to create a system that works for them. Not everybody wants to do this. Some people want to run down the dollar. Some people are addicted to their struggle. Not everybody really likes to do this. They prefer to be in it day in and day out. This is for people who want to create something that even though they go on vacation or they want to take a rest, it works and it grows without them. That is why we go through this process, all right? I hope you understand that, okay. In innovation, it's really, there are two stages, but one of the stages is really the process of creating high value solutions. Another stage is taking what you have and creating what you want. But in this um, presentation, we're gonna focus on the high value solution one. Because it's not enough to just create something, see, um, that's general. Like for example, if I say I create medicine, or I serve medicine, or I give medicine, or I administer medicine, that's not enough. That's one level. And that's one level of pricing. That's one level of value. But if you want to go at a higher value, you have to go deeper inside of medicine and say, okay, I serve a specific kind of medicine, maybe painkillers. And in painkillers, you could go even further and say, I serve painkillers for headache. That's a specific, that's even more downstream and higher value. You could even go further and say, I serve painkillers for migraine headache. But you're going down into the particular category based upon the needs or the demand and the size of the demand or the value of the demand. How much are people willing to pay for this painkiller? And whatever that painkiller is that they're willing to pay for, you create a product around serving that painkiller because there's a specific need in that area you discovered after research. And that's why the niche research comes first because you have to find out where can I go? How far can I go with this? Some people go three levels, some people go four levels. Right? This is the process of innovations. Innovating, you're going into what you have and you're trying to go further into it to find out what high value downstream or sidestream or upstream product can I serve 
to get the best value or the best ROI or to give the person who that have the highest demand or highest need relief from their problem or their pain, all right? Now, as we continue going, you have to remember that you have to test. So one of the things you have to do is create online or sample with specific, as we say, concrete, tangible, physical benefits. But these benefits must be based upon the niche research that you did. And therefore, what you discovered in the niche research, all right? So your product outline or your sample of your product that you're creating must come after you have done your research, you have checked, you have asked questions. So you can give a sample training like what we are doing here. We are sampling. We are giving sample coaching, right? These are things that you can do. Or um, I don't know if you remember going to the supermarkets and you see somebody with a little boot or a little table and they're giving out samples. Or people on the side of the road giving out samples. What they're doing they're trying to find out if people want this and then the demand for it. That's sampling. What they're doing, they're trying to find the physical, physical need of the person to find out if they need to adjust what they have. They want to give feedback. That's niche discovery. Right? That's what people do. A lot of supermarkets, a lot of companies do. Sometimes they do it in our countries. They do it a lot more in third world countries than in first world countries. They sample out of their products because they most of our big com most big companies are focused on selling to third world countries than on first world countries. But that's a discussion for another time. All right. Okay. Process of creation also means validating the customer's reality. I make this I make the steps easy to learn or easy for the person to use or apply if it's a physical product. You have to validate their reality. What are they going through? You have to show them that you really care about them by exploring further. Why do they want what they want? Why is it they want this? What is it that they're looking for? In this, when they get it, how would they feel? What is, it, what is the effect they want after they get this or after they use this thing that they're looking for? All right. You need to seek to help them to get out of their pain, out of their frustration, out of their fear, out of their challenge out of the stumbling block or the limitation of what they're using, right? And the way you can know this is by asking more questions about their situation. What is happening in their lives? Why is it they want to use this? What is happening to them, right? And that's his research. Of course, use this, we have to use systems such as surveys and polls to get customers' feedback. And of course, improve your products. So to improve your product, to make it even better than how it is, you have to do surveys. You have to ask questions in some way. Do polls. You have to do checks. Um, a lot of the phone companies do it all the time because a lot of the a lot of companies do it all the time because they know this is what allows them to get keep on the edge above the competition. All right, and then of course there are parts where you can actually collaborate with competition based upon your size. All right, so. Digital product design that you have in your head is used to create different things. All these different things you can create with your digital products, right? Coaching, online courses, ebooks, podcasts, workshops. All these things will be created in digital product. But physical products, you, for example, can start at a what level? Say you have a physical product like a, like a fruit. It's physical, but if you move that fruit upstream, can you create a food cocktail of some sort? And what if you create a, a delicacy or something or hors d'oeuvre or something with the same fruit, right? Right. And what if you then create smoothies out of that same fruit? You're going upstream. And then what if you create capsules out of that fruit? <laughs> I mean, you see how much levels you can go. Based upon the level you go, two things happen the value increases and the cost increases. So you have to think of where do you want to serve, all right? Okay, physical products also, you could sell the cocoa beans and you could sell bags of beans. But what if you could sell the processed cocoa? Cocoa itself, processed or cocoa powder itself or liquid cocoa itself. What if you could create so the powder or the liquid? What if you could create the bar and make it into chocolate? So you have a chocolate bar 
Oh, well, if you go further, and you could create instead of chocolate, you create creams out of the out of the cocoa, right? With the skin and so forth. Um, what if you create um, cereal, right? In boxes or, or other bars, fruit bars mixed with the chocolate, chocolate fruit bars. Or if you create smoothies or chocolate sundae or some ice cream or something. So there's so much things you can do from one product. So value-added product design means that you're moving. But it's not just a product anymore. What if you could create a result? Not just a product. For example, if you go to Google, here's a nice story to look at. Go to Google and type in hot chocolate and blood pressure. A study with stunning results. Just go to Google whenever you get time and just type that in. You will find a wonderful story of how that chocolate and chocolate drinking is actually helping a whole race of people, a whole community of people, a whole tribe of people in the Amazon jungle. All right? Wonderful story. So you're creating a result now, not just the product, not just the downstream products, but you're marketing now and creating products to give a result. Right? A result could be facial, some facial disorder that you could relieve. Right? Or skin disorder in other, other parts of your skin. Or something to eat and go to the gym. Right? I would fool you. Or drinking it instead. So you get something convenient to drink, go to the gym, or maybe a romantic process, romantic occasion, right? Or personal pleasure. You're creating an experience or just something to calm you in the night so you can sleep more comfortably, rest. So there's so many experiences you can actually create because you're focusing not on the product that you're creating, but on the value that you're adding to the person. When you do that, your, your process changes, but also the value that you offer changes. And of course, once your value changes, means it goes up, your cost goes up. So you get more ROI, all right? And this is what, this now I'll touch this, you will see this again, or something similar to this on the marketing section, when you start dealing with direct response marketing, right? But this is the idea of how you create your products. Okay, and your product, of course, dealing with going to build your list of people, list of prospects who may be interested in what you have to offer. Because this is just getting them in the door to find out, to, to get the free training or the free samples, then to find out eventually, are they interested in going further? All right, so you're looking to build a list of prospects. And of course, you're mapping out your design. Okay, you have your product, you have your niche, research, you have your information from industry research. What's the goals and what are the what is the goal and the objective? What is the curriculum? Or what's the pro, what's the processing program I'm gonna go through to produce what I want? And then what are the staffing or the external forces or consultations or um, um, funding that I need to come into the process? So all of this is mapping out your product design before you even start it. All right. And of course, in digital product, you need to do with the mentality, right? You have to be able to take responsibility for results, not just products. You want to take responsibility for products. In other words, for results. What I mean is you're not just interested in the person buying your product. You're interested in finding out, are you getting the results that this product promises? What is happening? Is this really for you? Maybe this one is not for you. Maybe you need to try this other one. What it does, it carries up your credibility. And that goes a long way. And you have to remember that people pay for tangibles, not just for ideas. They pay for tangible results. When you're doing this, you want to validate their reality. What is their life like right now? What is happening in their real world right now? Why they need that product? And you're sharing it by speaking the language. You're making it easy to accept, easy to implement. We make it too complicated. We make it cumbersome. You're trying to get their language, their rapport. So it makes it simpler for them. Also, you want to ask them about what's motivating them. And listen for the needs. Listen for the patterns. Listen for what keeps, what keeps coming up. What's the challenge? Is it a relationship issue? Is it a a physical issue? Is it a mental issue? Is it an educational issue? Is it an employment issue? 
and listen to it. Is the hell issue? Is it a pleasure or relief issue? Not taking time to rest. You have to listen for those needs. All right? And you have to talk to different areas of the person's life. You have to talk to the irrational, emotional part. You have to train and, and provide something maybe in that area. And you have to know what the need is and where you're providing it. So are you providing a solution that deals with their emotional needs? Is it with their logical needs? Is it something with their spiritual or mental needs? You have to know where your focus is on your product that you're trying to create for them. And of course, if you're dealing with the digital product specifically, you could use the learning supermodel, which is the same thing you said, why, what, how, and what if. And what I, what I mean by that is um, in the learning styles, why means motivate to learn. What are they motivated? What will they get? What will they avoid if they learn this? You have to tell them what will they avoid if they learn this. Just like I did in the beginning telling you why you need to learn this, how it will help. Explain the theory. So all I've done before is just explain the theory and the model. At least how this technique or proven system works. All the things I dealt with when I talk about value and the value in benefits. And benefits of value goes up and therefore the cost goes up when the benefits or the value goes up. Things like that. That's the theory. That's the technique. That's the system of water creation. Right? And of course, how? Step-by-step -step procedure. What do you do first? What do you do next? What do you do? So I'm going to teach you the different technology and then how you integrate them into your product creation. I'm going to just mention some and show you them. I'm going to go into use all, right? Then what if? What if means if you don't take action and learn this ex from this experience, you're going to get some bad results. So what if you don't do it? What if you don't take action? What is going to happen? What if you don't follow this direction? What experiences are you going to go through? Right? So this is the step to creating digital product. What the digital product could be a education, a training, a mentorship, a coaching, guidance, um, assistance, even helping people um, um, cook good, good food or better food or whatever it is. Right? Has to do with go through all of this. Okay, here's some digital product technology, and we're going to be looking at these, right, just now. So you have AI Writer. AI Writer is a technology you use to find additional information to write, to write on. For example, if you have a topic, and the topic is um, um, shoes, um, track shoes, you want to sell track shoes. Let me see. All right, you're writing track shoes or shoes to exercise to exercise in or to run track with. It will give you a lot of other information around the internet, around the world that's connected to why people buy these shoes and what they're saying about track shoes and and what's important in them um, for them, what they look for in buying track shoes, all those other things. You'll all of that will come back to you in AI writer. So you just go to Google. Type in AI Writer, it comes up, and then you could actually type in your topic, right? And I'll show you that. And you have Mind Master. Mind Master is actually helping you to organize your thoughts and the ideas about your product in a mind map, right? I'll show you how that works. An infographic is a way of presenting your programs or your training programs or whatever it is you want to do in steps, one step after the other coming down like a ladder or coming down in different sequence. And on the side, you're seeing some names of some programs. These are some, some um, infographic programs that you can take down. You can use some of them. You can experiment with some of them, right? Um, this other one also, infographic, that's a way of getting things done in sequence also. Also, transcribing software, right? And there are a lot of transcribing software around. Even Zoom we're using now is a transcribing software. It's a video software. It's an audio software, but it also is a transcribing software. For example, I can record the program right now in Zoom. If you're seeing the different parts, you can actually record everything in Zoom. But it saves it as an audio file as well. It also has a feature where you can transcri get it transcribed so you can get the text. 
and they could convert that into a book. Voila. And then the audio file could be converted into a podcast. So you have the video program could be converted into an online course, an e-course. As well as you can take the course and what you're presenting and turn it into a workshop, a live workshop. So you have all of this just using Zoom. And then you have video scribe. I'm going to talk about video scribe on Google. You can just, on YouTube, you can just look and see what video scribe works. This is awesome. I really love that we could actually draw and talk right? and actually have it running. You got to look at that. And then you have Camtasia. Uh, we're just going to look at Camtasia. Camtasia is a big software. Right? I don't have it presently, but it helps to record um, video. Also, you can edit video in Camtasia. You can edit in Zoom. You can edit in Camtasia. You can, you can cut and paste. You can add words. You can add different images together, colors and shades and all sort of things in Camtasia. Right? And there are a lot of software like that. That is just creating your product so that people can learn. All right? And then you have Audacity. Audacity is an audio program. So I can record this in Audacity as an audio program and also create a podcast out of it. Save it, create a podcast. And this is free, all right? Free of charge. You can download and you can record anything. Now, what is the nice thing about, about um, Audacity? You can edit you can cut off and edit and cut and paste in Audacity. And I'll show you some of them. Of course, now all of these that you're seeing here now, these are called presentation software, like PowerPoint. And the one on top is Key, Keynote. Now, Keynote is the Mac version of PowerPoint. PowerPoint, everybody knows most PowerPoint works on both Apple and PC. But Apple have this other software, which is called Keynote, but it does not work on PC. It only works on Apple software. Presentation, very nice, very good. And there is Prezi. Prezi is a presentation software. That is what we're using right now to present to you, Prezi. You have things like Powtoons. Powtoons is where you could create cartoon features to present to people, all right? Cartoons, so people like that. That's very really nice. You can choose a lot of different images and cartoon images and create your own little thing, right? So this wonderful product. So before we go to the Q and A though, I'm going to go to the internet and I'm going to start showing you how to use some of the software as well as I am going to use some of the software that I have. All right, so I'm going to stop sharing that screen and I'm going to go now to share. Um, share uh, the web web browser okay and uh, i'm gonna go to youtube all right as well as i'm gonna have some i'm gonna show you how these work okay all right so let me just have um Okay, gonna have some of them open. All right, so I'm gonna get that. Just give me a minute here. I will be with you shortly. All right, so. I'm going to continue sharing now. Go back to share. Using, share my browser. Right. So you're supposed to be seeing my browser now. All right. Before I do that one, I'm going to do AI Writer. This is AI Writer here. And AI Writer allows you to go in. Well, of course, you could go in. You could try AI Writer by clicking here, AI Writer. And you write what you want. See, um, sneakers for track, right? Or something like that. And you could, of course, you have to enter your email address and my email address. I'm going to enter my email address. Kevin and Kevin Sandy training. Um, make sure you get that right. Good. Train.com. 
and I'm gonna say, okay, get my articles. So it's gonna go and it's gonna search. Right. Oh, I forgot. Click the little button below. Okay. Um, just click on that. All right. And then here you are. There you see I have. It's gonna go and it's gonna search and find all of this. Okay. All right. I'm located in the European Union. No. <laughs> Right, once we hit enter, in order to access the article, please assign a password. So I'm going to create a password, okay? I'm going to create a password. All right. I haven't used this in a while, so I can't remember the password I had before. So, uh, register. I'm not looking in the European Union. I hope that everything will be okay. Right, so I'm going to have to check my email in order to activate my account. So, I'm going to go and do that. Now, all right, so let me just go in, check my account. All right, let me see. One moment. Okay. Right, so I'm in. So let me go now and log in now. Back to AI Writer. I'm going to go back to it now. And I can log in now. This time I don't have to register. I can actually log in, right? Good. So I log in my unit and log in that. Good. Okay, so pending sneakers for track. So it's actually, if you look and see, skip waiting, but look what's happening. It's looking, it's going, and it's actually checking for me, right? The, what I typed in before, pending sneakers for track. It's actually looking for information around the globe on my topic. And it's going to bring me back a set of articles. And there I can see what are people saying about sneakers for track. What are they looking for? What are people talking about? What is popular? You know? So you can get a ton of information and that will help you to create or sell or offer what you have in mind in a better way, in a more precise manner. All right? Based on the needs of others. That's how it works. All right? So that is um, AI Writer for you. All right? Any questions, let me know on that. Okay, let me change. I'm going now to YouTube and I'm going to go into some of the programs like Video Scribe. All right, so I'm going to play a video in Video Scribe. This is a Video Scribe um, topic, um, site. So, Video Scribe is this software that actually helps you to write and talk. I hope you know about it. Uh, most people know about Video Scribe, but let me just set it up. Uh, for the screen. Do you struggle to keep your content fresh and engaging? Would you like your message to be more sticky? Then you'll love VideoScribe. It's a video creation software tool that enables you to make attention-grabbing videos in minutes. Because if it's engagement you're after, why settle for telling when you should be showing? Imagine combining the power of images, sound, and motion to explain your new piece of tech, concept, or service. Keep all eyes on the prize to seal the deal of the century or teach how the world works. Simply choose your images or use your own. Add text and voiceover, select your mu use it from our library, then watch as VideoScribe brings your ideas to life. And just like that, you've joined millions of people worldwide using VideoScribe to get great results in business, education, and social causes. Start your free trial now and make your first video today. No credit card needed. All right. So Video Scribe, you could actually go and you could actually um, go to Video Scribe on, um, on YouTube. All right. And there you can 
Okay, what? All right. <laughs> okay. I was trying to figure out what's happening here. All right, good. So, video scribe. You can go and we can actually see. You can log in. You can get a feature. But you also have pricing. You go to the pricing section and you see what it costs. Of course, there's a free trial. All right. So, this is the cost of video scribe when you're ready to buy. Um, you have a yearly price. You have, uh, uh, right? All right. Pricing shows in US dollars. You have annual uh, yearly plan. Uh, which is 168 per year, or you have this one month plan 35, or you have a free trial. All right, so the free trial, a one week free trial of video scribe, seven days to, to test it out, see how it works. All right, okay, so that's video scribe for you. Now, let's go to another one. Um, this one, uh, I'm gonna try, let's try Powtoons. All right, so Powtoons. Is another very nice one um, that people like to use because it lets to create things that are very effective and attractive. All right. Did you know that it takes 1.8 million words to achieve the value of one minute of video? Isn't that incredible? <laughs> well, maybe that's why 59% of senior executives prefer to watch video rather than to read. In the next 90 seconds, I'll show you how tens of thousands of companies, just like yours, are evolving. They're finally communicating with colleagues and customers in a way that makes them sit up and listen. Let me tell you how. Imagine there was a way to make something as powerful as a TV ad with the ease of making a PowerPoint presentation. Well, there is. It's called Powtoon, and companies across the spectrum, from tiny startups to Fortune 500 corporations, are using it to gain massive engagement and attention in a surprising number of ways. They simply customize Powtoon's ready-made templates to make health and safety videos, or hiring notifications, employee onboarding, landing page videos, sales proposals, new staff intros, training demos, fundraising video decks, code of ethics outlines, how-tos and tutorials, department announcements, conference agendas, and about a billion other ways that surprise their clients and colleagues every single day. The result is a how-to with the look and feel of a $5,000 month-long video production that only took you 20 minutes to make. Communications are evolving. Plug into the awesomeness. It's time to make a how-to. All right, so Powtoon is one of those things that is very effective. Um, so you could actually look at that as an if as a, as an example of something that you can use. Um, of course, then we can go to infographics, right? Looking at the different infographics software, right? So we have options in infographics. You have templates that you can use. Um, these templates allows you to, to follow through with the style that they have. And then of course, some, some sites allow you to create your own styles, right? So you have um, styles of infographics that you can use. Um, and you have different slide sizes, easy to edit, all right? These are different, these are different, all different software, I mean, and you could create your own design in infographics, right? Unlock. All right, so that's this is something that you can use to actually create your own infographic site or your own messaging or guidance. You could even use it to share on people, tell them about a physical product, actually, you know, from one stage to the next. All right, and they're different, there are a lot of different software to use. Not only one, but one stage to the next will be really good. All right. And of course, um, we looked at um, using Zoom already. So Zoom is another one that it functions similar to infographic. But if I go to Zoom here, which is um, what we have been using, we can actually adjust the timeline. You can adjust the things that you use. If you look at Zoom, um, the whole program of Zoom, you see this whole thing, but you can actually zoom into one to the next, come out and go in, move from one place to the other. It's the same idea with Zoom, all right? With, with, um, with, when I say Zoom, I mean Prezi. I said Zoom, Prezi, sorry. 
with Prezi, it's the same idea with Prezi, right? Where you can actually move from one to the next. All right. Now there is one another software when we talk about um creating product. Now you say you could create what they call um, audio products. Zoom can be used to create both both audio, video, and so forth. But there is something I want to show you. Audacity can be used to also create, to create what they call audio programs. So you could actually record using Audacity. And as you record, it gives you uh, the results that you want. For example, we are talking right now, and I can just press record, and it's recording, right? All right so I can change um, which, once it's recording, I can edit it. All right. I could also upload a file. Say uploading a music file, so I could open and I could upload something that that's gonna play. So let me see if I can have any music here that I can um, upload. And once I upload it, I will show you how I can edit the music. All right. Um, so I have uh, this is a video. Um, even though it's a video. Um, it's converting the video into an audio file. Awesome. Right? So sometimes that happens. I can actually do that. And then what you could do is you can edit what you want and what you don't want. Okay? And you can choose if you want to save it. All right? So this is just audacity, uploading the file, converting it. Now, this one is an MP3, but, but it's MP4 video files. It can also upload it and convert it into an audio file one time so you could just use um audio of course if you already want to do conversion i prefer to use something like um format factory to convert videos to audio it, it's much faster and uh, more precise when it comes to this conversion only right so this is the file here so if i play this becomes great at finding knowledge right? great at learning take it's actually Right now, I could decide if I want to if I want to take out something from this. So if I if I say I want to take out something, I could click on this here. Yeah. <laughs> click on one place, and then I could click on another place, and that highlighted area, I could just press delete, and it's gone. That's it. Bam. All right. Select the audio that that, that you want to get rid of. Right. Good. And that's it. So that part. It's cut off, and then I could save that if I want. Let's go close and export, and export a new file as, MP, as an MP3. All right? Of course, I don't want to adjust my file, right? <laughs> but you can use Audacity to record, and you could also expand the recording and see even further. For example, view, I can zoom in and zoom normal, and you see it expands, right? So if I, I want to undo the delete, okay, that I just did, if I want, if I go and play from here, if you look at something, so it's running. When you learn about professional sales and marketing, it changes how you think and how you do things. All right, you actually see the, the movement up here. So that's that's a lot of um, work. You can actually go in and you can do different things, change pitch, change high and lows. If you only want to do a lot of um, adjustments to your file. So, so that's, that's something you can learn. Um, Audacity is very good at that. So this is just one of the softwares I say you can actually use. And this you can use to create your, um, your um, audio files. All right? So, um, so that's about it. These are wonderful programs you can use. But remember, the, the strategy is to always use um, the, the technique or the, or the, the steps to use the software. Don't just use the software alone, but look at the techniques, look at the styles, the way in which they're used, all right? All right, so any questions? We're back. Any questions? So I'm just gonna stop sharing. And if there are any questions, let me know. We have a good timing, it's, it's, it's five to nine, but you can carry on. You can make it as long as you want. Once you want, have a question in mind. All right.
Okay, thank you. Okay, welcome. You're welcome, Dara. <laughs> welcome. Just use it. Which, let me know which one you use, which one you like to try out, which one more appealing to you. All right. And we like the power tools, right? Good. Hey, test it out, try it out. All right, so think about it, okay? And thanks very much for coming, guys. Have fun and create the best products, right? Even physical products. Go through, the, remember the processing, the steps, outline everything. Once you have the information from your prospects, all right? Once you do your sampling, your prototyping, and then from there, you test the market and see what happens. Next time, we're going to deal with the marketing technology. How do we attract the people we want and repel those we don't? All right? That's what we're going to cover next time. Also, have a good night and bye and have fun. Bless you. You're most welcome.